Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, I'm going to be honest and raw. Today, I'm actually quite ILL. I don't like saying the word, okay? But firstly, I'm going to go there because there is a point to my videos as usual. There's a lesson here, okay? And the lesson is about music. And I'm going to go there with a few things today which ultimately all go to me talking about the music that I heard when I was in heaven. So please stay around for that because a lot of people do ask, what is the music in heaven about, okay? So right now, what am I feeling? It's like someone is sticking right now, someone's got knives sticking them in my toes, my ankles, my calves, my left hip is absolutely chronic. Lower back feels like someone's got an axe in there and they're grinding it. Across my chest, I feel like I've broken about three ribs. My neck's sore and my head, the pain I've had in my head for the past three days, I can't call it a headache anymore. It's a migraine. It's a migraine. And I get these like pulsation boom, boom, booms, like someone's got a jackhammer going in it. It hasn't been fun. <coughs> but unlike what I had two weeks ago or three weeks ago, three weeks ago I had a really sore throat and it went to my chest. This is not a sore throat and it's not on my chest. But I will tell you what I've done. I, I went to bed at 9.30 two days ago. I slept till two, woke up for an hour to go and get my daughter from school. I actually fell asleep in the car. I got home at quarter past three, I was back in bed and I slept until 7.30 the next morning. I took her to school and I slept until five. That's not normal. So I don't know how many hours of sleep I've had in 48 hours, but it's close to 48 hours. <laughs> so very, very tired every time I move it aches I've just put my hand up and now I've got an ache in here um my computer right now is saying four celsius and it's quarter to nine in the morning they're saying this is the coldest Brisbane has ever been ever on record okay so much for climate change <clears throat> okay we're just saying we're hitting up okay so I've covered being sick so please excuse how I look. I'm always transparent and I'm always raw. I am a human at the end of the day, right? It doesn't matter what I look like. Listen to the words that come out of the mouth instead of the mouth saying the words. That's one of my phrases I keep saying. So let's go to the lessons of today. I want to talk about the movie, The Sound of Music. It was in my head last night and I'm thinking, why is this music, this movie, why is it in my head? With all the banging and the migraine that I've been having. The Sound of Music. Why was it called The Sound of Music? Why didn't they call this movie How to Escape the Baddies? Or How to Keep Your Kids Quiet While You're Running Through a Cemetery When the Baddies Are After You? Or... Why don't they call it how to keep your kids warm when you're running through the Alps? <laughs> Why was it called the sound of music? Because of one very, very important song that was relaying through my head over and over and over again last night. There's a song Julie Andrews sings when she's trying to calm down the kids. There's a thunderstorm going on. She starts singing this song. And the best line is... Um, when the bee stings, when I feel so bad, I simply remember my favourite things. And then I don't feel so bad. I had to pause there just in case the algorithms got me, okay, for copyright. But I hope you heard that line, then I don't feel so bad. Because when we start remembering our favourite things, the things that we've got physically in us 
can't get any worse. Last three days I've been having the worst day. And the funny thing is my friend Sally, who I went and saw, um, I went with her to see Michael Shane last week. We're both sick. We've both got it. We're both really sick. And I don't like saying the S-I-C-K word, right? But we know where we got it. Ha, ha, ha. Because I don't generally see Sally too often, okay? And it's funny how I saw her last week and now we've both got the same thing. I actually spoke to her yesterday where she's telling me about all her pains and she said, oh my God, I've got a pain here, I've got a pain there, I've got a pain there. And I was thinking, we're so pathetic. We are so pathetic. Because right now, I, I, I'm going to count my pains. My toes are hurting on my left foot. My right calf, left thigh, my lower back, that's not even up to here yet. Oh, now I've got pain. Oh, my God. It's like someone's throwing a knife in my fingers. Okay? Oh, stop moving. The only way around this is to just lie in bed with heat packs on and just don't move. It sucks. It really does. So let's go back to the sound of music, guy, because I don't want to talk about me with being sick, okay? Because what we think, we create. And that's what this song is about with Julie Andrews. When we're thinking about all our things that make us sad, we get sadder. We get worse, right? They knew this back in whenever the heck the sound of music was made. Back in the 50s or was it the 60s? Who the heck cares? But the story is that what we think, we create. Okay? The sound of music. It wasn't called how to escape the baddies or how to let go of all your lovely big mansion and go into the poverty. Yeah, it could have been called the um, um, expectations of being humbled or something, but they made it. They called it the sound of music, because it's music that is the healing power of heaven. So, when I went to heaven in two thousand one, when I died, I could hear this music, and it was coming from everywhere. There was no speakers. This sound was everywhere. There was no focal point. You know, like a speaker on a wall, you can hear it from the focal point. It was everywhere. It was everything. And not only could I hear it, but I could taste it and I could see it even though it was invisible because it was everywhere. What did it sound like? It sounded like a repetitious tribal chant. But it was of nothing that we have here on this planet. We have, you know, you look at our um, different instruments. We have our string instruments. It wasn't any string instrument like a harp, guitar. It wasn't percussion like drums. There, it wasn't brass like trumpets and cellos, saxophones. It was nothing like that. It wasn't vocal like angels singing. You know, some people say, it's, oh, it's the angels singing, but it wasn't vocal. Okay, and it wasn't keyboard. You know, it wasn't um, synthetic like we have with keyboards. So I can't explain it in earthly noise. But when I close my eyes... Like last night, I woke up about 2 o'clock and I was sitting there having this dream about the sound of music, doing a video this morning, and I could hear this chanting, tribal, beautiful, attractive. Now, I want to explain what attractive is. Attractive means that you're drawn to it like a magnet. You want to go to it. And it's like a pull. And you've got no way out of it. You just pull to it but when it's everywhere you're inside it and it was so gorgeous that you're inside the music okay so let me just let me just go over to my book sorry guys because I'm, I'm not well I just want to go to the music in my book 
and I'll just see what I've written in here so I can do a little quote for you. Oops, where are we? Okay, I want to talk about the music. Okay, so that's my life review. So it's got to be before that. Okay, let me just go through here because I want to find what, what I write about the music. Chairs, reflection, elevators. <laughs> There's no elevators in heaven. We don't need to go up and down the story. Um, stories of a building. There's heaps of buildings there. Even last night, I was painting in my mind. You know, like Bob Ross. I was painting the scene when I first arrived there. So I'm going to probably do that. Okay. So in my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven. Look how thick it is. Okay. This is how thick it is. It's 369 pages. I've got here on page 88 the music the music the music was turned on from the moment I came out of the fog stage when I first arrived here how do I explain the most beautiful music that I ever heard but it wasn't of this planet this music was very soft but it had this sort of chant but with instruments we do not have here on earth sort of like a tribal chant that repeated on itself over and over but never boring or shallow these was, there was a depth to this music. It was cut right to my core. It cut right to my core with the oneness that it was also with me. Its beat was so rhythmic and just so beautiful that one would never get tired of listening to these repeated chants. The music was not just soothing and calming. It was inviting and it was attractive I wanted to go into it okay I wanted to find this music source and just sit in the awe of the majesty of what this noise was so if you want a copy of my book the links are in the bottom in the description okay you can see how thick this book is of me when I died in 2001 so what happened when I was there in this music it heals it heals us it keeps us in this vibration <sighs> we're ready for the lesson today it gave me that frequency which is our energy where we have raised our vibration up and we are angelic because we're now in heaven right so when we get sick here on earth, because I don't like saying I'm sick, okay, I am healing is what I say. So my brain um, starts that healing process. So when we go out and get our music in us, and it doesn't mean that we have to physically go to a rock concert. We can lie in bed unable to move because we're in so much pain, but we just play a music in our head. Think of that song I just mentioned with Julie Andrews. When the bee stings, when the dog bites, when I feel so sad, I simply remember my favourite things and then I don't feel so sad or I don't feel so bad, whatever the word is, okay? Because the more we concentrate on something, the more we're creating it. The more we think about being S-I-C-K, the more we're giving that energy. We're fueling it to create it even more. The more we say, I've got to go to the doctor, I'm going to have to call an ambulance. Oh God, don't even say that one today, Linda. Because why haven't I done that? In the, why didn't I do that two weeks ago when I probably had the C word? Because of what I had two weeks ago, it's identical to what my brother-in-law had. He tested positive. He lives in the next street to me, by the way. So I probably had it. But why didn't I get to? The, why didn't I go to the doctor? Why didn't I start antibiotics? Because I kept telling myself, "I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I am healthy." Because the more we say this to our head, the more our brain cells creates it. Okay. The more we raise ourselves up into a higher vibration of like the heavenly music that I heard when I died, we can't get sick. I'll tell you a little story. I love this little ditty. 
okay? Jesus, funny thing. How often did he go into the masses of crowds? He was out healing all the lepers. He was healing those with smallpox, chickenpox and all the other poxes. wonder if monkeypox existed back then. So he's out there with all these people with contagious diseases. Why didn't Jesus ever get sick? Huh. Because he lived in a higher vibration. Now, I will never say I am an ascended master. And today proves it because I'm not well. But the more I aspire to be like them, to be like the angels, to be like who I was when I was in heaven, total electrified frequency, powerful powerhouse of magnified energy. I don't know what else to call it. But if I truly aspire to be all that, let go of all my grudges, regrets, all my hurts, past trauma, let go of any depression I've had and acknowledge that I am only doing my best in this life, the more I say to myself, you know what, Linda, you're doing your best. You know what, Linda, you are trying your best. And the more I do not concentrate on what others are doing I don't give a rats what the government is doing I will not entertain their agendas okay the more we concentrate on what they're doing and we blaming and we're accusing and we're hanging on to all this oh I haven't been able to do this for two years we are allowing them to be powerful because they're taking our strength. Don't you realize that this is how the aliens are working it? Come on, we've got to admit, you know, NASA's already decided to come out with the truth on this. There are aliens already living here. Do you think they're all good? Uh, uh, uh. Those little reptilian suckers are sucking us dry of all our goodness because the more negativity that they create the more they're feeding off the negativity that we are generating for them generating is the key word here so we've got to turn ourselves into a powerhouse of good loving energy they can't handle it. It's like kryptonite to them. It, they have to repel and run away. They can't handle it. So whenever they get these zaps of love from the planet, they will do something like a certain school shooting, which is so funny because a guy just did a freedom of information request for the birth certificates of all those kids. He showed the FOI request. No records found. Huh. Funny that. Hope you've just heard what I just said. It's all about taking our um, um, our ways of defending ourselves, isn't it? Without saying too much. So guys, stop playing into their f games. Because we are in a war zone. We are in a spiritual war and unfortunately they are releasing through chemtrails, geo weather modification and what they're putting into our food. I'm going to tell you, I saw this video, a guy got Nurofen and it's got this black stuff in it that comes over when it gets magnetized so he took this black stuff out and it's moving around on the plate so I went and bought some I'll show you oh god it's Nurofen Zavant I'm not going to take it for what I've got but I am going to throw a couple of these in a bottle of water and see if it's got the black um graphene oxide in it won't that be a good video to watch okay anyway I don't want to do that too much on because um, I'll get 
zapped by the algorithms. But guys, healing power of music. Think of your favourite song. Think about where you love going in your sleep. What's your happy thought? Make a song about it. You know, last night I was lying here thinking, damn, I'm on the beach, I'm lying on the beach, I've got the sand under me, I've got the waves coming in slightly, because I don't like big waves. Little waves are coming in, the moon's coming up, it's beautiful, it's nice and warm, because Queensland's usually warm, right? Oh my God, it's just gone up to six Celsius. Six Celsius and it's nine o'clock in the morning. I don't know if I've ever seen six Celsius at nine o'clock in the morning. Especially when the sun's out. There's no clouds. So it's, we can't say it's raining. Oh my god. It's bloody beautiful weather. <laughs> if, you, if you're if you a penguin. But anyway. Um, think about your favourite thing. I was sitting on the beach. And I was sitting, sitting there singing this song. I am on the beach today. I'm feeling all the sun's rays. <sighs> Could be something just simple like that. Okay. But guess what I'm doing? I'm creating that energy. I'm creating that frequency. I'm raising my vibration up. So today is Saturday the 11th of June. Tomorrow I'm going to do my tarot. Let's see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Because today I'm just going to sing all day. Let's see if this works, eh? Let's use this as an experiment. The healing powers of music. It would totally justify then why they play it in heaven, right? Hope you're all having a good day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. You don't want this and I've got... My friend Sally, she actually... Oh my God. You don't want to know what she said. I don't want to repeat it. But we've both got it. It's not nice. It's nasty. So I'm going to go sing today. I am sitting on the beach today Watching all the sun's rays Coming down makes me feel great <laughs> I'm a dag Helps, right? Laugh at it When things go wrong, sit there and laugh, guys oh, Sorry, my eyes are watering Anyway, I'm going to get off here I'm going to go back to bed Because the more I move, the more it hurts and I want to go and just sit and sing in my head all my favourite songs today. Think about the music in heaven. I'm going to think about the sound of music. Then I don't feel so bad. Huh. They knew all this. Why don't they teach it at school? Huh. They know not to teach this stuff at school, right? <laughs> Talk to you all soon, guys. Something to think about, isn't it? Have a great day. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.